My tip for understanding stats in media uh, and in general is basically a lot of the times you'll see things in the news that says, well, red wine will give you cancer if you drink a glass of it a day. Or potentially you might see drinking a glass will protect you against cancer. And it can be quite confusing. At one minute, you know, it seems like it does help you. And the other minute, it seems like it doesn't. And you might just think, well, this is all a bit silly. We shouldn't listen to this. And the problem with that is how um, the literature of, say, anything, science is reporting in the news. And a lot of the time, they report on new studies. And the problem with this is that it might not be representative of the entire literature that goes before it. And usually when a new study comes out, it doesn't just disprove all the literature. What we like to do is take a literature as a whole. So when you're sort of seeing this sort of in the news, you have to be slightly skeptical and thinking, OK, well, is this what the whole literature is saying? And for alcohol in general, it does tend to be some effect, negative effects on, on health. And there is a link with cancer uh, over the long run. But that's the reason I know that is because I've looked at the literature as a whole. So that's my top tip for looking at stats in literature.